Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for May 31st, 2019. Last trading day of May and happy Friday, everyone. But unfortunately, we don't have a happy morning in the market. Um, yesterday afternoon, the president came out with kind of a shocking state, um, uh, shocking decision. And that was to um, increase tariffs on uh, Mexico based on a flood of illegal immigration coming in that's overwhelming. Border Patrol, according to reports, as many as 4,500 a day are coming in and being detained. Uh, U.S. is currently detaining over 80,000 illegal immigrants. Um, uh, just overwhelming Border Patrol. And so the president's made this uh, this move, whether it's a wise move or not, I won't make it. I won't make a claim on that. I'm certainly not going to um, pontificate on the politics of this. But the ramifications to the market are substantial. Uh, this morning we are gapping down, and we are gapping down below some of these key levels of support that we have talked about. That 250. Uh, level 25,000 in the Dow. We will be gapping below that this morning. Uh, currently, futures down 270 points. And I don't see a whole lot in the market today that's going to improve that over the course of the morning. Now, the question will become whether or not that will trigger some panic uh, selling in the market. As we head into the weekend, it's going to be really difficult with the uncertainty of everything going on in here for traders and investors to consider buying and holding positions as we head into this weekend with the uncertainty of this move. And unfortunately, we have some big open gap or big open holes below. If I if I were to really point out a good level of support in the, the Dow below this level, it's going to be all the way down in here. So uh, 243. Um, Ouch, that could be really painful. And uh, and unfortunately, uh, today's event um, is one of those that could really bring on those sellers hard and really uh, make some trouble for us. So watch that closely. Now, if the bulls do defend, if the bulls do come in and defend in here, remember that 25,000 level is going to provide a little resistance. And then we have these resistance levels in the downtrend to contend with. Um, I'm going to make this a shorter than normal video because um, guys, uh, this is just a, a going to be a rough morning, I think, for a lot of folks. Um, and, uh, you know, what do you say to that? Because there's there's no way to know what this is going to create. Um, all I can do is point out the support and resistance levels in the chart. And, you know, we'll just have to see how price reacts to that and uh, try to make decisions based on what we see there. Sticking to our rules, trying to avoid the emotion of this. So first thing, um, SPY gapping down below Wednesday's low. Not looking good here at all this morning. And if I were to mark a level of price support in uh, the uh, SPY chart, it's going to have to come right about down into here uh, for that next price support level uh, down around 272. A uh, pretty painful move if we reach down into that level. If we do begin to rally, just remember any re rally could be resisted by these price resistance levels and then, of course, the downtrend that is still in play here in the market. Let's take a look at the Qs. The old Qs not looking too good here this morning, gapping down. Now, I had mentioned once before that um, it would be probably better for the market had the, mar uh, the, the NASDAQ gone down and tested its 200-day moving average. Well, we're going to get that this morning. Uh, we're going to get that test of the 200-day. The question is, will we hold that 200-day? So as we gap down here, toward that 174 level you can see there's good price support there and if um, the bulls step in and hold that fantastic if they don't if we slip through that level we could see selling that moves us right down through into here you know in the 170s uh, pretty easily we could slip down there pretty fast so watch that close and then um, IWM IWM you know um, 
didn't participate at all um, positively yesterday and just said, no, nah, we're, we're not interested in this move. Continuing in this downtrend um, and gapping down this morning, um, there is a significant level of support right here in IWM, but if that slips away, if that drops, we have a big open hole to the downside. So watch that closely. Let's take a real quick look at the VIX. Now I've been mentioning, um, the last few days I was really kind of surprised uh, when the selling came in so strong on Wednesday that we really didn't get much reaction in the VIX. Well that could change today. We could see this news create that little bit of panic uh, coming in. And it really couldn't happen at a worse time heading into the weekend where that uncertainty, what's going to happen next week? What are we, how is this news going to spin out? What are the ramifications of this? And that could s seriously affect traders and investors as we head into the weekend. And we could see that bit of panic selling coming into play. So watch the VIX here really closely. If we really begin to spike up here, we could um, see some trouble and obviously that has ramifications to anyone that trades options as that implied volatility spikes uh, prices of options go up and um, we can expect choppy rather violent volatility um, if if that does occur so hopefully cooler heads re re um, 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 hold this market where it is and hopefully the panic doesn't set in but i gotta tell you it's it's not looking good this morning um that's all i can say it's not looking good this morning there's so much in the uh indecision um or uncertainty i should say so much uncertainty it's hard to know how the market is going to react today so be very very careful Try to stick to your rules and try to avoid emotional decision making. Make sure you stick to your plan. That will be the safest place, safest thing that you can do. And if you're relatively new to trading, if you're inexperienced in trading, hey, just stand on the sidelines. So watch the, you know, pop some popcorn and watch the show from the bleachers because this is not going to be um, a comfortable place uh, to be for a little bit. So protect your capital, protect your business. Business and um, and and just stand aside. There's no shame in that. Let's take a look at um, T2122. T2122 is our uh, well. It it it's the only place that I'm seeing right now that gives us a little bit of ray of sunshine, a little bit of hope, and that is that we are down here in this bullish reversal zone, but. Kind of keep in mind, we've seen this before, where we can stay down here and these news events can certainly um, kind of overshadow any kind of an indicator. And I'm guessing we're going to be uh, this morning right down here. Uh, crawling along the bottom here on T2122. That gives us that little bit of hope that maybe when we shake this out, maybe if there's a little certainty that comes into this news, um, we can get that response back. Maybe if, if Mexico gives us a positive response that they're gonna engage and, and help with this problem. Maybe, I don't know what, what the answer is, but we could bounce up out of here then and um, in that, in the being in this bullish reversal zone. So watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. Unfortunately, there, there's a few things on the economic calendar that have the potential for moving the market around, but I wouldn't expect it to move as much unless these numbers um, are surprising. Now, obviously they could surprise us in both directions. And our biggest number today is a personal incomes and outlays. I don't expect that to really reverse a market today, even if this comes out as a very good number. If it were to come out worse than expected, it could certainly add to the pressure of the market, but I don't think it's going to be that reversal uh, report in any way, shape, or form. We have a couple Fed speakers, and then we have Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. They are obviously very important to the market, but unlikely to really move us around today. And on the um, earnings calendar, we only have about had about eight companies reporting earnings, and uh, really the only notable um, was uh, Big Lots and. Uh, you know, it's gapping up on its earnings report, but certainly nothing here that's going to be moving the market around today.
so the market will kind of be left to its own devices here this morning and whether that that panic uh selling really sets in as we head into the weekend or if those bulls really decide hey we're going to be tenacious we're not going to allow this to go down and they start fighting back all we can do is wait and see and watch that price action closely so with that everyone um, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you all the best um, what I will tell you is is today if if um, um, today may not be the day to be initiating any new trades <laughs> as we head into the weekend if you're already short congratulations uh, take that profit because or, or consider taking those profits because uh, gaps are gifts and uh, you might want to take that to the bank. If you're long trades, there's going to be some pain today. Um, and don't try to revenge trade this. We're going to have to wait for some good price patterns. This is kind of one of those shocking moves. And we don't know what, um, what future ramifications of this will be. So um, it might be wise to just stand aside. If you have other things to do today, it might be a great time to just shut off the computer, go fishing, take your dog to the park, take your wife out to lunch. Um, do those things that um, get your mind off of this because it may not be a fun place to be for a while. For those of you who plan to stick around, if you're a day trader or whatever, this may be just exactly what you're looking for. Lots of volatility, um, lots of challenge. Um, um, just be careful and don't overtrade uh, this market. It could be pretty dangerous for you. So with that, everyone, um, I'm only going to give you a couple charts that 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 may have um, some potential, a few things for you to look at um, and, and keep this kind of kind of light. For a possible short trade, take a look at Boeing. BA um, showing weakness right here at major price resistance levels. Whoops, there we go. Uh, major price resistance levels, and this is a substantial resistance level here, a zone uh, in the chart. Certainly we're currently in a downtrend and we're, we have shown failure here at that resistance. We will have to keep an eye on this little tiny uptrend here, um, if, but if that fails through there, there could certainly be some selling coming into Boeing. Take a look at a stock like Etsy. Etsy showing weakness here, um, continuing to downtrend, failing right here at the 50-day moving average and showing that failure pattern and certainly looks like it could continue to move lower um, in these charts. So, And there's a lot of these right now, guys. There's a lot of failure patterns. There's a lot of pain um, in a lot of places in the market right now. Um, for example, take a look at um, eBay. eBay is sitting right here on a level of support. It tried to rally up nicely yesterday, but if we were to get a failure right in here, this, this right here was a failure at the 50-day moving average moving down. It's that blue ice failure pattern that we talk a, um, a lot about. And um, we could certainly move right on through to the downside here. So there's lots of those charts that are potentially setting up. Take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks. Tech PepsiCo. PepsiCo made a nice hold of this uptrend yesterday. It might be one of those safety places you can go if you're looking for um, some long safety. Um, Coca-Cola would also be in that group, finding that price support of that trend rallying nicely yesterday as this uncertainty um, in the market uh, comes into play. And then um, another, another, one more stock would be Roku. Roku has just hold, held up extremely well um, considering the conditions of the market. And this is a blue sky above here on Roku. And it's held up really, really well. If this consolidates and moves itself over toward its trend here, we would want to watch and uh, for that potential entry for that trend continuation. So keep an eye on that one. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all of the best. And I wish, want to wish you a great weekend. I know this may be a painful morning, but you know protect yourself protect your business protect your capital and uh, try to avoid those emotional decisions remember there's no shame in sitting on the sidelines when you don't have an edge in the market as a matter of fact that is the most honorable thing to do if you do not feel like you have an edge protect your business 
protect your capital. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome weekend. I wish you all the best, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone.